So I was born in Melbourne. I lived here my whole life until I was 16 and played professional Dota. I first started playing Dota when I was like really into it. I was just playing non-stop for like 10 hours a day. My mom, she would tell me to go to school, but I would like try to get out of it. But sometimes play late, the next day cannot get up earlier, on time go to school. I would eventually get sneaky with like how I get on the computers, use the camera to like film what password my mom's writing so I could like see it and stuff. I reckon Nathan's always been shy. That's I think that's how he gets away with being sneaky. He never shows you his entire hand. He always has something hidden or up his sleeve. It allows him to have an advantage that you don't know. Whenever I play and I lose, I just feel like I know what I could do better next time. Like I just keep learning like every time I lose. From a young age, she was always playing games, but I never thought you could win money from playing games. <laughs> Eventually, IG came forward and was like, hey, do you want to give it a shot with us? You know, it's any boy's dream. So when the opportunity comes out for your brother, you can't help but say, do it. So my mom was a bit hesitant, but my brother like kind of convinced her. When he go to Shanghai, that's my hometown. So that's why I decided to send them go to China to see if he have this talent. I didn't think that was a thing you could do, leaving Australia to pursue a career in Dota. That sounded like a made-up story to me. So when I first joined IG, I was like super happy and like it was the best day of my life. It was like one in a lifetime opportunity. The best moment was definitely winning my first tournament in Beijing. I remember like one of the first comments I saw was just like, Anna, I thought it was a girl. Like everyone thought it was a girl at the start. So it was just funny knowing, just like, nah, he's my brother, he's a guy. <laughs> It was the NEA tournament where Anna kind of reached the spotlight with IG, and that's where the interest and the action kind of picked up. And then after TI, OG wanted me. OG was like one of the best in the world. I thought it would be like too much of a leap for me, but that's the reason why I learned the most here, because everything was like a massive leap. When I realized that it could be a huge career was when he won the Boston Major. I didn't even think a tournament could be so big in terms of coverage and prize money and just the amount of people watching and playing. It was quite shocking that at his age, he won a major. Not a lot of players get to do that. The biggest turning point of my career was when we lost DAC. Yeah, it was against my old team, IG. It's really frustrating. Yeah. It was a hard game. It's a hard game. But uh, we had another big tournament in two weeks, which was Kiev, and I just pushed on. Now it's like a good memory. When Anna was younger, he was a shy boy, and uh, since he played Dota games, joined OG team, I can see he grew up a lot and he have more confident. Thinking about TI, like, I'm really excited and nervous at the same time. It's the first TI I've played in. No words could describe how happy you'd be for your little brother if he makes the dream that he's always wanted. We go into this TI, I know we're gonna try our best and I believe we can take up the ages this year. In my heart inside, I feel I'm very proud of him. To this day, I'm still amazed. It's not just a dream anymore. He made it happen. I'm a different person from where I was a few years ago. Traveling and living and going to all these places makes me more adventurous and courageous. Now, as a player, I push myself to the limit. 